Tonight, campaign 2024 is ramping up as Vice President Kamala Harris officially selects her running mate, naming Governor Tim Walz as her vice presidential nominee. Right now, the 60 year old former high school teacher is in his second term as governor of Minnesota. The selection was one of the most important decisions in Harris's bid to be president. Walls was a representative for six terms in the U.S. House, and he served as Minnesota's governor during the pandemic and unrest following the police killing of George Floyd. Tonight, Harris's opponents are already weighing in, including Ohio Senator and Trump running mate J.D. Vance. This is a guy who's proposed shipping more manufacturing jobs to China, who wants to make the American people more reliant on garbage energy instead of good American energy, and has proposed defunding the police just as Kamala Harris does. Well, tonight, Walls is already in Philadelphia for a rally with Vice President Harris. It will be his first formal appearance as her running mate. Tonight, Democratic and Republican leaders in Ohio are weighing in on the choice of Tim Walls as Vice President Kamala Harris's running mate. As to be expected, NTV's political reporter Doug Peck Cash spent the day talking to them, gathering their takes on this pick. Doug, let me guess, each side had their own input. Yeah, very, yeah. very different yeah. takes on this for sure. Democrats call Minnesota Governor Tim Walls a successful and effective leader, a good communicator, and a genuine person. Republicans call him radical, left wing, and extreme very pleased with the pick today. We're excited, very excited, very happy. Ohio House and Senate minority leaders Allison Russo and Nikki Antonio are pleased, excited, and happy because they say Governor Walls has shown himself to be a successful governor who will resonate with voters across the country. They also believe he will be a good partner with Vice President Kamala Harris. I think that Walls has shown himself to be an effective communicator of those values around freedom, opportunity, dignity. Um, he's done that very effectively. I think his strength, frankly, is that he's been successful in his state and can bring that to the discussion as they move across the country and talk to folks in those battleground states. Democratic strategist Dale Butland says Walls will have a lot of cachet in the World battleground Midwestern safest, states and Pennsylvania uh, and, and has a background people can relate to. He comes from a small town. He's a teacher, a football coach with a military background, with a folksy manner. And most importantly of all, he comes across as thoroughly normal and absolutely genuine, which is a marked contrast with Donald Trump's pick. Republican Lieutenant Governor John Husted says Harris's choice of walls surprised him. I thought she would attempt to signal moderation by picking Josh Shapiro out of Pennsylvania, but instead she uh, doubled down on picking uh, a, a really radical left-wing governor. In a statement, Ohio Republican Party Chairman Alex Triantafilou said about Walls in part referring to the riots after George Floyd's murder. He failed to protect his citizens from the most violent and dangerous riots in recent memory. He went on to say, just like Sherrod Brown, he has been and will continue to be a rubber stamp for Kamala Harris and Joe Biden's radical agenda that has crushed Ohio's middle class families. I don't know how one can be too progressive if progressive means, you know, feeding kids, uh, women having the right to make their own uh, decisions about uh, personal, private, reproductive rights and everything else. Democrats believe Harris has reinvigorated the party and Walls will add to that and help bring in undecided voters. Certainly I can confirm there is a lot of enthusiasm on the ground. I mean, we've seen people showing up, volunteering for campaigns, uh, getting out to knock on doors over the last two weeks. And Senator Antonio says she thinks independents and Democrats who are thinking about sitting this one out are now not going to do that because the ticket is energizing people. In the studio, Doug Petcash, 10TV News. Doug, thank you.